My name is Dr. Mufti, and this is 10 Questions with Spice. I was in a line at Chick-fil-A trying to get some food <laughs> in 2020, and I was like, I need a name. At that time, I was called that model Mufti. And I was like, well, I'm more than a model. I need a name. And then I was like, why don't I just call myself what I am? At first, it's going to be Dr. Model, but I was like, I don't like that one. And then the model PT. I was like, oh, the model, the PT. There we go. So thank you, Chick-fil-A. Each day is a little different, I'm not going to lie. Some days I'm like an entire model, and some days I'm entirely a PT. But days where I have to be both are quite crazy, I'm not going to lie. But they're the most fun days. I just, what I do is I try to make sure I get all my patients out the way first. Because, you know, check, 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 check. And then the model thing, I can just be there all day. Seeing my patients, so a lot of my patients are older generation people. And then seeing how they're a generation that doesn't have or didn't have the social media that we have that don't have the computers the phones and everything else that we do seeing how they are living and seeing how our generation would be like a thousand times worse because we have all those technology and all the access to things that they didn't have that's what drives me because i don't want us to be in the next 30 years looking all kinds of because i come from not the best of backgrounds so i know what it's like to not have and I know what it's like to have a person that could help you and them not help you just because it's just convenient for them not to. So being that person that can help people and that can give back to people just kind of drives me. I'm just seeing the smiles on people's faces. <laughs> Funny, first one was I was actually at a fashion show and a girl came up to me. She was like, are you the model PT? And I was like, um, yes, how do you, it's just like, I've seen your videos and like, I do some of your videos and then seeing how that, that was a really cool moment. <laughs> in fact, that someone just, in fact, that was someone from the model world made it a little and a lot cooler. I'm not going to lie. Um, that was one. A second moment as the model PT was not too long ago. My mom seeing her, um, she had like an injury for work, which is why I'm a physical therapist, of course. And then she had like another thing, but she, had, she needed like help and blah, 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 blah. So she called her friend who then said, who sent her video and it happened to be my video. The friend was like, oh, you can do this video with your neck. And then when she sent it to me, I was like, first of all, mom, why didn't you just come to me? But okay. The fact that her friend sent her my video was like a very, wow, pat on the back moment. And then the second one, it was kind of similar, but it was my friend's sister's friend that posted a video that I did on something. I was like, oh, I'm actually reaching people and I'm actually doing what I am trying to do. So those are really proud moments for me. As a model, I think I said earlier it was LA Fashion Week. It was a very big point. Another big point would be Times Square photo shoot. It was very, very unplanned. And all of a sudden I found myself literally, it was like at 11 p.m doing a shoot for Michael Cinco, who's a huge, huge designer, doing a shoot for him, totally unplanned, totally unprepared for. That was a major moment for me. I would say try multiple things. We think this is one thing that we have to do, or we have to be in this certain sect because we look a certain way, or we sound a certain way, or just what we see in our neighborhood or like around us. But when you just try things, and you don't have to stay with it. Life is a very long period. You're real life for quite some time. Do something if you don't like it, if it's not working for you, try something else. Because that other something else, you might find that you like that so much better. And it works better for you. So be willing to just try new things. That way I have to be people taking me seriously. I'm small. I'm little. When I walk into a room, people don't tend to think that's the person in charge of treating me. So having to overcome that and assert to people that, yes, I am the authority in the room. But still being respectful of them as individuals has been a little dance I've had to play. So that, that's that been quite a challenge, I have to say. But figuring it out. Absolutely. Number one, Naomi Campbell. Just straight off the bat. She has broken so many barriers for models all over. And then like having to learn that she actually went to face through a lot of disparities while she was doing it. She is number one, of course. Um, number two right now is Anok Yai. I love her. She was discovered on my school's campus on Howard's homecoming campus. And she's she's like either going to be one of the top models of the year or on her way to be. So she's an absolute inspiration. Love, love, love her. And the third one, um, who's the third one? There's a couple of names in my head right now, but I'm trying to look for a different one. I don't know. 
I'm gonna go with Tyra. I love Tyra. She, everyone knows why I love Tyra. Of course, there's been some like, you know, but she has done a lot of amazing things for people all over the Oh wait, no, can I change my answer? I wanna change to Elizabeth Elohor. I think I'm saying her name. But she's the owner of Beth Models Africa. She is, yes, she's my third answer. I like to be remembered for my genuity. I like to be remembered as this girl walking into a room and she was herself, she was comfortable, everyone was okay with her. Like, she vibed with everyone, not because of she just had to vibe, it's just because that's just who she is. And I want that to show in my work and in everything that I'm doing or saying. I want you to see that I actually care, because I actually do. There is, there is some, there are things in the pipeline for the model, the physical therapist and the model PT. There are some things going on, but I'm also very open to new opportunities and collaborations. And it's part of the reason why I'm here in Nigeria, because it's, I want to tap into Nigerian market a little bit. So open to things, but there are things coming that you should look, you know, just be on the lookout for. This has been Dr. Mufti with 10 Questions with Spice TV. You can find me on the model underscore PT on Instagram and the model PT on all other platforms. Thank you.